Good morning, my name is Marlon Kerner uh, and I am doing my intro video uh, for our HR course. Um, you can call me Marlon, um, a lot of my friends will call me MK, um, so whichever one you want to do, you can use my initials um, MK or you can call me Marlon. Um, I'm good with either one. Um, why St. Bonaventure? Um, so interestingly enough, um, when I transitioned to my current role, which is Director of Player Engagement with the Buffalo Bills, um, I formed a relationship with St. Bonaventure and with the hopes of having my players, current and former, um, be able to take classes to either complete their uh, bachelor's degree or get a master's degree with St. Bonaventure. Um, and, and watching my guys kind of talk about it, maybe I'm not ready for it yet. Um, I was at a point where I wanted to further my education. So I used that relationship that was forged with St. Bonaventure um, and joined this program um, so that I can one, show them that it can be done um, while you're still in a sports setting and still work on developing yourself and furthering your education. Uh, and two, just because my son was graduating high school, he was about to go off to college. My kids were um, at an age they were watching um, and looking at me. So I wanted to be an example to show them that yes, you can still continue to further your education. And you can do it while you're working. Um, so I decided to enter this program. Um, this is my fourth class that I'll be taking. Um, so I started in the fall um, and I'm looking forward to continuing this all the way through. Um, I've really enjoyed the experience so far. Um, so I'll go fall um, and then I'll go spring here um, and then summer one, summer two, and then back to fall and then back into the spring um, with the graduation date of May uh, in 2021. Uh, so really enjoy my experience so far. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and interacting with all of you. So what excites me about HR is um, I have HR experience. Uh, I worked at Target uh, in HR for the last four years prior to coming to the Buffalo Bills uh, in my roles of Director of Alumni and then Director of Player Engagement and Alumni. Um, so I find that I actually do use a lot of the skills um, that I learned in that role um, when I was with Target. But hey, that was almost eight years, five years ago now. So. Really, I'm looking forward to just kind of learning what the new trends are, I'm learning to further um, build upon the knowledge that I've already have uh, and figuring out ways so that I can be a better asset in my organization, but then also just to be a better asset to the guys that I interact with on a daily basis. Um, those skills do suit me very well. Um, additional set of experiences or ground rules, uh, I would just say, uh, I think you know them all. I think um, not being afraid to take an opposing viewpoint um, is always something that I think I find that sometimes we struggle with because um, you want to be like you did a good job but uh, hey um, for me particularly if you have a different viewpoint or an opposing viewpoint please don't hesitate to come at uh, and say hey Marlon I disagree with your statement and here's why uh, I found that you get a lot more discussion and you grow um, as an individual when you have somebody who sees it from a different point of view and, and maybe it's not the same viewpoint as you so please don't be afraid to have a different viewpoint um, I've had some great experiences so far uh, talking about that different viewpoint. Um, I actually had a class uh, two classes ago when I, we took diversity and leadership uh, and I had somebody take a different viewpoint uh, and it made me kind of go back and look at it. Uh, and we both were right. Um, just We just saw it on different sides of the coin. So again, it was kind of one of those things that I, I really enjoyed that experience because we were able to go back, have the banter uh, back and forth. Uh, and it wasn't one of those we agree to disagree. We both had viewpoints. Uh, we both were right in our, our perspectives and viewpoints, but I was able to then be able to see from his point of view of why he saw it that way. And he's able to see it from my point of view. Um, and we were able to continue with that dialogue. And I got so much out of that class um, because somebody took a differing viewpoint than what I had. And then a little bit about myself. Um, I'm from Ohio. Um, if you can't notice, there's an Ohio State logo in the background. I'm a graduate from the Ohio State University um, where I also played football there. So that's why you see the, uh, the helmet, the, the silver helmet back there. That's my Buckeye helmet. Uh, and then the one in the corner is um, a Bills helmet uh, from when I played for the Bills as well. Um, so I'm away from the office. Or I'm technically supposed to wait from the office, so don't tell anybody um, just because um, my kids are at home. Um, they're out of school until April 20th, so you have kids. Um, I snuck out <laughs> and came to the office to get some work done because I was like, there's no way it's going to be peace and quiet to get this video done So, um, with three teenagers at home. So I just had to come into work, but that's me. I'm also a twin, um, so can you believe it? There's two of me in this world, um, but I'm really looking forward to just meeting all of you. Um, that is the end. Um, I have nothing else really, um, no additional questions, but just really looking forward to this class. Thanks.